Round 100 with zero Aether Crystal upgrades. We just tried something like this recently, but apparently if you play offline with an account that you have full upgrades on, some upgrades stay. So I have a brand new fresh account here. And as you can see, I have zero upgrades. I got crystals, but I haven't used a single one. Field upgrades are all at level zero, not even at one. Perks, all level zero. Ammo mods, you guessed it, zero. So we're gonna see how high of a round we can get to with no upgrades and try to get all the way to 100. And we're gonna be attempting this on D Machina. I know I've been playing a lot of D Machina recently, but I really think I can get it done on this map. And like I mentioned, we did try this before, but apparently if you still buy like perks from their original perk machine, you get those upgrades. And I had the Bowie knife for it. Here, obviously you can see I don't. And another interesting twist to this is that I can't even buy self revives if I wanted to. Actually, maybe I could. But last time I was on here, I couldn't. I wasn't high enough level. I think I need to be level 55 for that, and I'm only a level 35. But I did pop double XP tokens just in case we get to a high enough level. So maybe we'll be able to buy some self revives. I don't know. And I'm starting with the 1911 here because I don't want to get any camo progress on any other weapons because we are starting the Dark Aether grind up again. And I feel like we would probably get like most of the weapon done if we just use that like throughout this uh grinder this challenge here and i've been trying to keep the name of this account secret and i still will because there are still people out there trying to just take down content creators like accounts while they're playing like they'll crash their game or you know disconnect them from whatever they're doing but i i am bound to miss a few things like i said in our first dark aether video i i definitely missed uh, a few instances where it showed up but if you saw something no you didn't and the amount of ui in this game and just random pop-ups that show up while doing whatever is so crazy that I, there's just so many spots where your name can show up that i i couldn't blur it all or i missed a bunch but hopefully i'll be better about it this time and as for the weapons we're going to be using today um i'm using the 1911 right now but i'm going to be using the die shockwave and trying to get the ray gun like i said i don't want to get any progress on any other weapon besides this 1911 which we already have gold viper Oh my Lanta, we're already going down. I'm restarting. I'm not going to lie to you. That was just a warm up. Just a warm up. Oh wow, look, it's our first time on the map. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so ready for this challenge. I definitely was not just here. I honestly think Penthouse is cursed. I don't know what it is, but I, I can't ever like survive up there. And I want to try to get set up as quickly as possible. That way I can just turn on the Rampage Inducer and get through some of these like uh, slower rounds. So I'm going to try to do that really quick. And I'm still deciding on what kind of field upgrade I'm going to use throughout the whole thing. I'm leaning towards Tesla Storm because I feel like that's probably our best bet. But I'm down to try some other ones. And I also don't know what uh, ammo mod I'm going to use for the DIE Shockwave yet. Because I used the Electra Bolt last time, but I don't think that does a whole lot of damage in later rounds. I saw some people saying in the comments that uh, the Frost one is actually kind of underrated because you freeze the zombies, then you use the Sucky Suck 3000 to kill them. So that could be good. I don't know. I'll... I'll try everything and we'll see what works also i did end up getting a new controller so i can't even blame stick drift this time around unless this came factory new with stick drift which honestly with the amount of ps5 controllers i've had in the last two years which is two of them i would not be surprised my last one didn't even make it a full year before it started drifting so i don't know what it is with like modern gaming controllers but the drift is just awful because this isn't just like a playstation thing this has happened on like my switch controllers this has happened on my xbox controllers I don't know why they just can't make joysticks that work. All right, power's on, hole's open. I'm heading into the hole. Aether crystal, give me a ray gun. Powered. We got our pack-a-punch part and power is restored. And I know it's cheaper to wait and do the coffin dance later, but I want to see if it's going to go ahead and give me a wonder weapon. Now you guys hurry up and do your dance because I know that there is a ray gun in here. So if you could just be a doll and drop it for me already, that'd be cool. All right, come on. Go ahead, ray gun. Nope, that is the complete opposite. I'll be taking Jug. And since they didn't want to give me my wonder weapon out of the box, can I craft? Oh, I can. Okay. So if you don't know, the combat bow is actually one of the best weapons in the game and not for shooting it. This is like the best melee weapon in the game. And shout out to Samuel the 17th for showing me this. Well, this is going to be a one hit kill on basically any round and on basically anything but the Megaton. But it can do some good damage to him as long as he doesn't kill me. We'll just hit him with it. We hit him with it twice and he's already down to like a quarter of his health. So we just got to catch him while he's uh, not in one of his punching moods and he's one in his shooting mood like that. Oh, these guys are scary. Ooh, not trying to go down this early. No, thank you. I'm good, actually. But I do need you to go ahead and shoot this flower for me, please. Or this mushroom, whatever. Go ahead. Right here. Thank you. Did it not work? It did not. 
There we go. Okay, just did it on its own. I didn't even have to do anything. All right, now you're allowed to die. Give me that key card, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. And now we'll hit this box till we're out of uh, money. Ray gun, please. Save us the trouble. Whatever. Come on. Please, bro. The box is worthless. You never get what you want. I guess I'll just grab the DIE controller. Oh, this little guy. Just chilling. Eating some snow. My kind of dude. And we got a pretty decent train going. Let's go ahead and fill up our DIE. I never understood why you could use the remote for the DIE just to like unlock it. But after that, you kind of forget about the remote. Oh, that's great. That's just fantastic. I threw the, the decoy a little too, you know, before the little sucky suck. But like, why can't you just place the DIE down somewhere and then just use the remote? I feel like you should be able to. But we can start collecting uh, the different ammo mods for it right now and trying them out. Now let's try to get the stinky ammo mod without dying. I know that's pretty tough for me to do anything in zombies without dying, but I know I can do it. It's like the little engine that could. I think I can. I just need a plague hound to come down here and die in the right spot. I just heard a plague hound spawn. Let's bring it on over. I wonder if this will work for it. Oh, well, we're going to find out the hard way. Oh, shit. God damn it. This little engine couldn't. Maybe we'll get another self revive to drop. Did it even fill it up? No, we went down for nothing. Dumb, dude. Oh, there's another plague hound. What, come to tease me? I guess I'll try again. I'm doing all this just for an ammo mod that I don't think I'm going to use, but it could end up being good, so... Who knows? Come on over here, you little fuck. Yeah, right here. Jump. Idiot. Oh, it actually did it. Cool. I'll use my Tesla storm so I can pick it up. Zombies, goodbye. See you later. Good riddance. Let me out of here. But I did just do the crow one as I ran by, so... Uh, I actually did go down for nothing, because I want to use this one. All right, I trained it up a decent amount. Oh, I have to hold it down to freeze them. Okay. And let's not go down and die here. What, you freeze them and then you inhale them? Oh no, they're just dead. Maybe we're on too low of a round for it to work how we think it would. But bro is actually froze. And now he's gone. And while we're still at this low round, I do kind of want to try out some other field upgrades. We'll see what Frost Blast is like at a uh, tier zero. Now, let me make sure that I'm not just dumb. Let me see if I can actually buy a self revive. Yeah, I can't. I'm not high enough level. Level 54. Lame. I guess I'll keep trying to go to the Dark Aether and see if I can get one to drop. Does he even work good against him? Oh, he immediately split in one shot. Okay. But it was insta kill. Why is he immune? Okay, why am I dead? Y'all didn't see this one either. Um, uh, we'll be right back. All right, so the more I'm thinking about it, as much as I'd like the ray gun. Oh my god, we got the DIE from our, our mystery box. Okay. And we're about to go down with it. No, we're not. No, we're not. Ooh. Well, as I was saying, as much as I'd like to have the ray gun as my secondary weapon, I just recently used the 1911 and got pretty far with it, you know, just training around in the starting room. So I think I'd be fine with this as a secondary weapon. If the ray gun wants to show itself through, uh, you know, like a aether crystal or something, like one breaking, I'm fine with that. But, uh, that's just going to take way too long to try to, you know, hit the box for it. So I'll, I'll just stick with this. This is so fucked up. I go down in the same spot every time. All right, I'm making the Aether Scope really quick. Uh, I need it so that way I can get all the other ammo mods for this because I can't really get the portal to spawn. And I tried out the Frost Blast one a little bit. It doesn't seem like it's going to do nearly as much as the Electro Bolt. So I'm just going to try to get the Electro Bolt and then try to fly through these rounds. At least hopefully. So now I need to listen to Dr. Vogel's dumb speeches. Actually, I don't even think I have to listen to him. I just to go up to each little anomaly and activate him. Now his dumbass is finally done speaking. And dumbass left his password over here. So we have to activate this. And now that that's happening, I think you can actually get this other ammo mod. Yep, our portal spawn. Cool. All right, let's knock this out real quick. Crystal number one, come here. Thank you. We'll pop that into here. What's going on, crystal number two? Throw that in and give me the third crystal. And now give me my upgrade. Thank you. And now we can kind of start grinding out rounds. I still need to get a few perks here, but I think we're basically good to go. I'm going to keep going to the Dark Aether though. Just so I can keep breaking crystals and hopefully get a, a self revive. It's going to be a pretty rare drop, but it's kind of worth it to try to get it. Oh my god, there's a self revive right here. Let's go. Pick it up, please. Thank you. We even have to get it from a crystal. I think a zombie just dropped it. It's very nice of him. But we do finally have enough to get this to pack three. So let's do that real quick. And I'm turning on the rampage inducer. Might regret this. Might not. We'll see. Might just speed things up. 
And that's kind of what I'm looking for. And I'm kind of thinking about switching out my combat bow for a cruise missile. Just in case I do get into an oh shit situation, but... With my experience with the cruise missile, every time I go to use it, I end up pulling out the laptop and still going down. So I don't know if it's worth it. But it's also probably not worth it to try to get really close to a Megaton on a high round to melee it. Even if it will do like good damage, I, I'm going to just like get myself killed. So I'm conflicted. Now we have enough money to fully pack our 1911. So I'm going to do that. Oh, never mind. We're a little short and we should have enough like right about now. The zombie, if you'd excuse me. There we go. I'm going to come back and get an ammo mod for this in a little bit. I think I'm going to go with uh, Shatter Blast, you know, the classic. Even though Shatter Blast isn't going to be as crazy, I think it'll still help out. And then we'll spend the rest of our points on getting uh, all of our perks. Or we could go down. Oh, unless we just keep stunning. Oh, give me that nuke. I actually need that. Woo, baby. Also, if at any point in this video, you hear this little bit of feedback coming out of my mic, that's because the AC is on. Cause I'm burning up in here. And I think we finally have enough scrap to go ahead and upgrade this to gold. So now both of our weapons are fully upgraded and all we gotta do is grind through rounds. Actually, I might need one more perk. Oh, uh, yep, we were missing Deadshot that whole time. Now we just grind through rounds. Now my strat here, uh, much like a lot of strats I do on D-Machine, is to train around here in the spawn area. If I have ammo, I'm shooting the Electro Bolt as much as I can. Uh, the longer, the better, cause I'm pretty sure it does more damage the longer you hold it down. But normally I like to try to train up most of the spawns and then we do one of these and eventually it just starts like basically insta killing everything and then we run and i'll do that until i'm basically out of ammo with this thing and then i'll pop my tesla storm and get some more ammo so let me uh waste a lot of this and that's probably good all right tesla storm we'll grab some ammo and this Tesla Storm does not last nearly as long as a fully upgraded one, so I have to be careful with that. And then we go right back to shooting. And if I feel like the zombies are slow enough to where I can actually get away with it, like they're not super sprinting, I can go for some ammo without a Tesla Storm. Definitely risky, especially if I, they're not all fully trained, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's gonna be rinse and repeat for the next uh, 64 rounds. Assuming we make it that far. And as for Megatons, this thing tends to do like less and less to them as time goes on because their health just gets crazy. So I try to get it fully charged like I've been shooting him for a second and then I give it to him. And they're still tanking like all that damage. Finally got them to split. While they are split, we try to train up a little bit and with a stun and take them out while they're not, you know, that big of a threat. Oh, we got the sharpshooter badge with the IE. We're masters with it now. And now they're dead. Cool. Oh shit, no! I fucked up big time. I have to use the self-revive here. Tombstone, there's no way I'm getting back to myself. I just have to play it safe. And now we have to hope for another uh, self-revive drop, which really sucks. I really wish I could just buy one back, but I'm not a high enough level. No, 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 no. No. I don't have Tombstone anymore. Shit. Quick revive's not gonna do anything. We are in such a bad position right now. I really gotta get this round down a little bit. It's down enough for me to go get armor. Uh, let's try to be fast. There we go, cool. Hurdled, I'm out of here. Now I need to get this down to like literally one zombie so I have enough time to buy perks. Or it's safe enough to buy perks. So I cannot afford to not have any way to get back up. As much as I hate on Tombstone, it's our only hope. And what we were talking about earlier with the combat bow and a cruise missile, I'm going to have to buy a cruise missile or like a, a chopper gunner or something. So let's get our perks back. We need tombstone first. Everything else second. There we go. Ooh. Get me out of here. And I am buying a chopper gunner. Come on. There's no way I went further with a 1911 than I am with a DIE. We just need to focus up. I honestly can't wait till I have like tier five ring of fire whenever you guys allow me to upgrade it and to actually try out penthouse with you know, full upgrades. So I want to see if I'm able to do it. Oh, now my controller battery is dying. Cool. Because Penthouse has got to be eight times faster than what I'm doing right now. Literally any other strat could be. If I get another self-revive, I'm going to try a different strat. Because there is a spot down in uh, Med Lab or Medical Bay, whatever you want to call it, that has one of those Aether portals that I can use if I get into a, a rough situation. I don't want to go down there right now. We're not even like at health cap. I'm going to train while it's safe. And then uh, maybe we try that out later. They give me two Megaton spawns on the same round. What the fuck is this? 
Where was this when I was grinding camos? Could have used those extra elites. But no. They're only here to stop me from getting to a higher round. Well, either way. Got them both. <gasps> Another self-revive. Let's go. Okay, if I can make it all the way to health cap without going down again, I will try the strat I was talking about. And we've officially made it to the halfway point. Just need to do everything we just did again. Oh, okay. Almost went down right there, but the chopper gunner saved us. It actually worked. Holy shit. Okay, all right. Almost went down immediately after. Oh, oh. Almost got taken out by a plague hound. Why is this like the most dangerous round? Oh, okay. You know what? I might have to scrap the strategy because I'm barely surviving just training and I know this shit's easier. I just want the rounds to go by faster and me going down and having to get all my perks back and waiting for another self revive is not going to help that. A lot of my ideas have been scrapped in, in order to stay alive. We got launcher master. What? This counts as a launcher? Okay, there we go. Round 55. We've reached health cap. The zombies will no longer get stronger from here. They just might get a little faster. So if we can beat this round, we can beat every round after it. And we've defeated the Rampage Inducer. Damn, dude. Just 45 rounds to go. Oh, shit. That was another close one. And actually, have you guys seen this before? No Bowie knife melee with the DIE? This shit's crazy. Oh, shit. No way. This chopper gunner has been way more clutch than I thought it would be. So I will continue to buy these uh, chopper gunners because they're saving my ass. Ooh, only 35 health. Got to do it again. Chopper gunner is goaded. Oh no, and I need another one and I don't have one. We've made it to round 60. Making our way up. No, what? How? Dude, not having armor sucks. It's so risky to try to get it mid-round. But I guess it's even more risky to not have it. And we just lost half our points through that, too. Okay, we'll use our self-revive. Um, I'm scared. And I'm very low health. Gotta use the chopper gunner. <sighs> so now we, all, we don't have a self-revive again. We're still uh, 11 or 10 levels short of getting one. Or being able to purchase one. And I'm frightened. Oh, fuck me, dude. No way! I just got out of the chopper gunner. Oh. Well, our final score is 557,000. 5,295 eliminations. 480 crits and four downs. Ooh. And now let's see how many Aether Crystals we got out of that. Because when we finally end up upgrading something, we can probably get it all the way up to max tier and then some we got seven flawless crystals 27 raw crystals and 15 refined and then also unlock some other things that's extremely disappointing but this is by far the hardest zombies challenge that i've done in this game and all he had to do is take away all the op shit and i can't do anything but i am down to postpone upgrading anything just to attempt this a few more times but i really do like uh, having a challenge you know coming back into this game not having anything and then trying to get as far as possible Maybe there's a different strat I should be trying. Maybe I'm just doing this all wrong. So if you got any suggestions, let me know down below. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Truly appreciate all your love and support as well. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.